Hey everybody, how about you grab your paints, come paint along with me. So what do we have going on over here? Well, I am using today the Windsor Newton Artisan water mixable oil paints. Now this painting will work absolutely fine with your traditional oils. Just when I clean my brushes with water, you'll be cleaning yours with your odorless paint thinner. Nothing wrong with it, it will work just fine either way. So, um, color-wise, I have uh, titanium white, cad yellow, yellow ochre, alizarin crimson, Prussian blue, burnt sienna, burnt umber, and I have a black here that I made using equal parts of burnt umber and French ultramarine blue. I particularly like this color better than the others. Uh, the other blacks that you can get in the tube. Some blacks, if you put a little bit of white to it, you'll see it's got a purple tint to it. Others, they may have a green tint to them. Once you add a little bit of white, this, you add a little bit of white and you get a neutral gray, which is exactly what I want. It doesn't lean one way or the other. So um, it's, it's great, I love it. Um, canvas. Uh, I have a 12 by 16 canvas, but you can use whatever size you like. Now, I have covered it, um, the whole canvas, with a white medium. Well, what is a white medium? Well, if you have ever heard of liquid white, magic white, amazing white, the grand ultimate supreme white, whatever it is, if it is a thin down oil paint, which I have right here, if I turn that over, it will actually pour out, okay? It'll pour slowly, but it'll pour out. This I can't put up here on my palette. It'll just run right down. But it's a thin down white, and it is your white medium. Which one works best? They're all, they're all just fine. You can use whatever you want. Like I said, I made my own. So I covered this whole canvas with it. Now... You don't want too much, you don't want too little. Well, Dale, how can you tell? Let me show you. Okay, I'm gonna do a finger bounce test here. All five here, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna look on my fingertips. I should still be able to see my fingerprint. Should still be able to see my fingerprint, but still have, you know, have the white medium there. That's how much you want. Okay. So with that, I think I'm gonna get me a drink of iced tea here. Mm. That's some good stuff, man. And let's get to painting. I think we'll do a little sky, maybe some clouds, put in a mountain, some trees, maybe some water. Yeah, it'll be a fun little painting. Okay, so first and foremost, right off the bat, I'm gonna grab me a gonna grab me a one-inch brush. And I'm using a one-inch brush. If you want to use a two-inch brush, if you use a larger canvas, you're more than welcome. You know, use what use what you're comfortable with. And if you've never done it before, grab you a one-inch brush, this will be great. Now, I'm gonna pull me out some of this uh, this uh, Prussian blue go and I'm going to add just a touch of black to that and get a little more Prussian blue there all right a little more black I'm just dulling down the color just a little bit there we go and I'm just going to tap that into my bristles there we go and we'll just come right up here and I'm just going to use a little X pattern 
and we'll put it in a sky. Now, don't worry if, um, you know, some of your sky is darker than other spots. And Hey, that just gives it movement. That just gives it movement. Nice little sky here. And I'll bring it on down about to there. Oh yeah, that looks good. Alright. Now I've got this dirty brush now, don't I? Let's uh just go from the outside in. There we go. And then the other side, we'll go from the outside in. I know I'm going to have some water in here. In fact, I'm going to get some more paint. I know I'm going to have some water in here. I don't know exactly where it's going to begin, where it's going to end, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. What we don't like, we'll just cover up. Okay, there we go. All right, bring that up to there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And go from the outside in. There we go. Now, I'm just going to grab some paper towels. I'm just going to kind of clean my brush off like that. There we go. There we go. Now, I'm going to come back up here, and I'm going to go from the lightest up, and just little X patterns. I don't want to get rid of all my lighter and darker spots, but I do kind of want to just blend that all together very lightly. Very, very lightly. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. And there's that. As Bob used to say, two hairs and some air. <laughs> okay. Now. Keeping these strokes horizontal, I'm just blending that kind of out from the lighter to the darker. Because as, as this goes towards the horizon, we want it to be lighter. My horizon's somewhere along in there. Okay. Well, we got that going just a, just a bit. I don't know if you can hear my my dog's up there. I have two little Shih Tzus, Layla and Pebbles, and uh, I just love them. I just love them so much. They're sweethearts. Okay, well, I'm thinking that maybe, just maybe, we ought to throw uh, some clouds up in there. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some titanium white right here. Titanium white. I'm going to touch just a touch of alizarin and crimson, maybe another touch. I want a little pinkish glow here. And I'm loading up my brush, both sides. There we go. And I'm just going to come over here. Now, the thing with clouds is, let me, let me tell you, the pattern with clouds is there is no pattern. Clouds do whatever they want and they're shaped however they want to be shaped. And so, with that in mind, it's kind of hard to mess up clouds. Really, it is. There's a couple things you do want to pay attention to. First of all, I'm just going to go random patterns. You don't want to stay in one spot, because if you do, then it will look like kind of a cotton ball. There we go. I just want to bring that on out. And as I get down here towards the bottom of the cloud, it kind of flattens out. Kind of does. And uh, I'm going to wipe that, wipe that brush off because I'm picking up some of that blue. I'm going to come back up here, get me some more of this white. Another touch of crimson in there. There we go. Okay. Lovely. Let's do some more. I know, they don't quite look like clouds yet, but they will. They will. Okay, let's come over here. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. There we go. Find me a brush here. A blending brush. Something I can blend with. Ah, here's a two inch brush, that'll work. I'll just blend it with this. I'm gonna come down here on the bottom and I'm not even taking the bristles off the canvas. I'm just rotating and moving. And if you don't like something or you need to flatten something out, just just keep moving your brush. It'll eventually go bye-bye. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Again, I'm just using the corner of my brush and I'm not lifting the bristles off even. Okay, I think that'll work. I do believe that'll work. Now, let's make us a little old mountain. What do y'all say? You wanna make a mountain? Uh, first I have to find my palette knives. My palette knives! Can you tell how prepared I am right at this moment? There's my palette knives. Oh, good, there it is, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm thinking we're gonna make us a little old mountain here. So I'm gonna take some of this here blue. And that's got some black in it. That's okay, I'm gonna add a little more black to it. And let's see, maybe some of this crimson. That'll work. Put a little bit of burnt umber in there too. I'm just making a dark color. I think I need a little more black. More crimson. There we go. That'll work. I'm gonna pull that out. I'm gonna cut me off a little roll. See that? That little roll of paint. Just got a little roll there. Now, okay. Now I'm gonna come up here and let's think about where our mountain's gonna be. I think I got a mountain that lives right about here. about that and all I'm really concerned with is this top edge here everything else in there we'll deal with here in a second right now it's just that top edge okay and I'm thinking oh, I'll go here maybe it comes down like that yes you hear that I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm really scraping that paint off. Maybe that comes down. Just like that. Okay. Well, we have that. You can't you can't just leave her like that though now, can you? I'm gonna grab my my brush I did the sky and the water area down here with. I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to pull it. There we go. Just gonna pull it on out. And if I want to, I can even bring a little bit of paint up there. Change the shape a little bit. There we are. Okay. Yeah, while we're at this, I'm going to take a little bit of white. A little white. I'm just going to put some white down here because I'm going to use that to blend in here in just a little bit. I know I'm going to be using a little more white down there because I want it to be kind of misty down there at the bottom. Yeah. Okay, let's pull that. Pull it. Pull. Okay. All right. Now, we need to add some highlights to this mountain. 
Now here's where you decide, huh, is it snowing? Is it not? Does that, does that have a little bit of snow on it? I'm going to say that mountain does have some snow on it. And I'm also going to say the light is coming from over here. So it's hitting this way. So that means our highlights are going to be on this side. And our reflect, or not reflections, our shadows on the other. Okay. So. Let me grab my knife. Where did my knife go? There it is. All right. Now. I'm grab some white here. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow ochre to it. Just a touch. You don't want to ever use white just completely on its own. Because then if you need to add something a little bit brighter, what are you going to do? You can't get much brighter. Right? We're kind of limited. Nature isn't. <laughs> okay, I'm just mixing that in. Believe me, you won't even know that there's any yellow ochre in this once we get it up here. Okay, I'm just flattening her out. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to cut me a little roll. Let's do that again. Flat, cut straight across, and I have my little roll of paint. Now I'm going to ever so lightly, ever so lightly, don't be, get in the habit of putting your finger right here. When you're doing this i'm bad about that i'm terrible and i didn't even notice it until i started doing uh making videos so you want to hold this lightly and just touch just touch there we go a little bit now i'm going to wipe off my knife i'm going to come back over here Cut me off another little roll. And, oops, see there? I almost put my finger back on there, didn't I? Okay. See, I, I usually do my mountains a little bit differently, but they take a whole lot longer than doing in like this. So we're going to do them like this here. Just for today. Now... I'm going to just grab right down there. I'm just going to pull right there at the bottom. There we go. There we go. Okay. Cut off another little roll of paint. Maybe there's, maybe right about here. That joins up with that. Mm. right here remember don't put your finger there right there there we go yeah mm -hmm. now let's say you had a little tight spot to get in you can turn this over and use this little part. Just get us a little roll of paint right there. And uh, let's say that there's a little right here. And it just comes down and meets down with all the rest there. Oh yeah, okay. I'm digging it. Okay, let me get another, another little roll. Maybe there's some right here. Just kind of, there we go. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this. Now, I know it has a little yellow ochre in it, but it shouldn't be too big of an issue. We're going to add a little bit of this mountain mix that we use to make the mountain. Just a little bit. We want to, we want to create a shadow color. And honestly, purple, and that's what this kind of turned out as. That's why I added more crimson to it. I wanted to get kind of a purple flavor. Purple flavor is actually a very good um, shadow color. So is blue. Okay. So we have a little lavender, a little purpley color there. 
I'm going to add a little bit more. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to come over here to this side. Now, if you wanted to add some darker uh, color in here, you could. You could actually strengthen up some of these colors by just adding in your mountain mix into your shadowed area, and that would work just fine. Just reserve it for your, for your deep shadows. Like a deep shadow, I think, would be like right in here. Okay. I don't think a deep shadow would be over this big area right in there right that little part right there that's kind of a deep shadow okay in fact we're going to bring this on down now as you're doing this you know you may see hey i think maybe i need a little more snow over here or a little more shadow over there that's okay i mean now's the time to do it right so I think I need a little more snow right along in here. Maybe I'll take a little bit of this dark color dark right in there a little dark shadow that comes back to here no worry we'll fix that I see it too there we go there we go yeah I think maybe we ought to bring this up oh, there I am trying to touch that again don't do it Don't put that finger on that blade. If you do, you will regret it. <laughs> and I'm talking to myself more than anybody. <laughs> All right. So there's that. Now, I'm going to come right down here. and I, Let's see. You know, I don't think I want to use that one. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to grab some of that white. Just kind of tap in there. And I'm just going to come here and tap. And I'm going to diffuse all this. Try and hold that ease a little bit. bit of a little bit of the mountain coming out here where it shouldn't be that's all right we'll just take care of that right quick nothing we can't handle that's the thing you know if you're painting don't get too worked up about things um, like today um, I mean, I've got a couple of commission pieces I'm in the middle of and I'm just kind of stuck you know what I mean just kind of stuck um, and so sometimes when I get stuck like that Doing a little painting like this helps so much. Helps me get back to where I need to be. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of blending all this down here at the bottom. And then I'm gonna fluff it up. I'm gonna follow my contour of my mountain. Okay, follow the contour. There you go. And there you go. We made us a mountain. And we didn't even have a molehill to start with. <laughs> God, sometimes I crack myself up. Let's uh, take a break here for a second. Um, get you a drink of iced tea, coffee, wine, beer, 
you know, shot of tequila, whatever you're doing. Mm. For me, it's Lipton iced tea. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, let's just say, I'm, I'm kind of digging that. I'm liking it. Let's, uh, let's put in a little, a couple little foothills here. What do you say? Okay. Let me find a good brush for that. You know, they make a brush for that. You know, I'm, 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 let's see. I think that one, and let's grab, oh, another fan brush. Okay, now, I need to mix up some paint. I need to mix me up some paint. Um, let's grab some of this uh, Prussian blue. Blue. Let's grab some uh, yellow ochre. Come on, ochre. There we go. A bit of cad yellow, just a little bit in there, brighten her up a bit. Black. A bit of black. And we'll add some white in there. There we go. Find the colors that we want. Okay, now I'm just loading up my, my fan brush here. Now, what I'm going to do, let me see if I can find a little something. Here's an old, here's a palette. See there? Del Cullen Art. There's a palette. What I'm going to do is, let me make sure that I'm in the camera angle. I'm going to, I'm just coming down on it like this. I hope the camera caught that. <laughs> because I can't see my monitor and do that at the same time. Now, there's something I just learned. Okay. So, I'm going to start up here, and I'm going to put us in... foothill. Maybe that little foothill comes down just like this. And now I'll just come back over here and I'm just going to bend those bristles up. brush and I'm going to just pull that on down. There we go. Alright. I'm going to add a little more blue to some of this. Make this a fuzz darker. Okay, maybe we've got us a uh, nice little evergreen that lives right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so how am I doing these evergreens? Let me show you. Let's just grab some of this blue. A little more blue. I'm going to be needing it here in a minute anyways. So what I'm doing is I'm making a line. Now I'm taking my brush and I'm just using the corner as I'm going down. Just using the corner and as I get down towards the bottom I might use a little more of the brush. Now if I run out of paint I can always flip it over. And that's how I'm hitting it. Just on the corner. Just the it, corner of the brush. Okay. Maybe I'll have to start using the canvas to uh, show you that. It might show up a little bit better. 
Plus, maybe I'll set up an easel right here. Okay. So, again, a little more blue. Maybe we have another one that lives a little bit closer here. Maybe it comes down to about right there. We're going to blue it up a little bit. Okay, and... go there we go I'm just gonna pull this down there we go. okay well we got that side maybe we got another little foothill comes down right about here and makes a little little trail that goes back there we can go like to the base of the mountain sounds like fun huh yeah okay Let's see, that was some, that was some Prussian blue, that was some cad yellow, and a little bit of yellow ochre, and some white. There we go. There we go. And maybe... We're just doing the same thing. I'm kind of at a bad angle here. <laughs> and it's just because of the way I have to set up the film. That's okay. Ain't nothing we can't handle. Good grief. This is the worst we got to deal with. We're in pretty good shape. Okay, now we'll get some of that bluer green. It's got a lot more blue in it. We're going to start adding some pine trees. That might be a little bit closer. And remember, your trees don't have to be perfect because, you know, perfectly symmetrical and stuff, it just doesn't occur in nature. You're going to have trees that's going to be missing some limbs because they had a bad, you know, a, a bad season. Or, you know, maybe someone came along and maybe a big old moose walked along and stepped on them when they were little and they grew kind of crooked or something. And you know, it, it's okay. It's okay. They're not perfect. They're not meant to be. Although I will say, they are perfect in their imperfections. There we go. We're just going to add some more little pine trees. Now, remember, these are still off. You know, they're a little bit ways in the distance. There's no, you know, there's no need to get real detailed with it all yet. Now, right here, see these? That looks like a repeating pattern to me. I need to break that up, so I'm just going to add, I'm just going to add a little evergreen right there. Mm -hmm. And you can do that just as much as you want. does not matter. However many trees you want out there, put them there. And you know what? It'll be the perfect number. The perfect number of trees. 
Okay, now right through here, if I wanted to create some little grasses and stuff, I can just take my my um, fan brush and push and lift up. Just bend those bristles up. That'll work. Just bend them up. There we go. There we go. Awesome, huh? Okay. All right, let's take a little uh, break here for a second and see what we got. Okay. Um, I am going to get my liner brush. Liner brush. And I am going to dip that in some oil. Now, you can use paint thinner to thin down your paint. That's what it's there for, right? Paint thinner. Um, I am going to use some oil to thin it down just because that's what I like. Um, I'm going to go here into this darker greenish. It's got, you know, it's got more blue in it. Make that a little bit wetter. There we go. And I'm just going to roll the tip of my brush, bringing those bristles to a point. And I'm just going to go back here and I'm going to put in some little sticks and twigs. Maybe broken down old dead tree you know you gotta have little sticks and twigs because they're all out there in nature right yeah there we go don't want to overdo it but just a little bit and you know Someone may not even consciously see these, but they're gonna their their subconscious is gonna know that they're there. They don't have to be perfect, right? There we go. And now I'm gonna take my fan brush again and I'm going to just lift those bristles and just kind of cover up those bases a little bit, just the base. And it just make it look like they just blend right in there to the background. All right, coolies. Okay. Now we need to. You know what? I'm gonna put a little more Prussian blue out here. There we go. A little more Prussian blue. Now, let's, uh, where's my knife? There we go. Let's take some of that Prussian blue. Whoop. Easy. Don't want the whole thing. Prussian blue, boy, that's a strong color. Strong color. Okay. Take some Prussian blue. I'm going to take some, uh, uh, burnt umber. Burnt umber. Yeah, that's that color. <laughs> some burnt umber. Throw it in there. I'm going to throw in some cat yellow. And I just want a nice dark color here. And I got a little bit of that lavender purplish color in it. That's okay. I just want a dark color. Dark color that when I hit it with my highlights, it'll be green. Okay. This looks like a good one. Okay, now I am going to load up my brush, both sides. There we go. Wiggle it around. Wiggle it around. There we go. And then I'm just going to tap. Get me some paint. And we're just going to follow the lay of the land here. Put a little more land in. That's all. Honestly, I could just wipe this down, but why? <laughs> all I want is that dark color so I can put a lighter color on top of it. Just 
be sure to follow the lay of the land. How is your land lane? There we go. We're going to kind of flatten that out a little bit as we come along here. I don't want that hard line right there between those colors, so I'm just going to kind of blend it together. There we are. All right. All righty. Now, I'm going to take my yellow ochre and some cad yellow. Come on. Give me some cad yellow. There we go. We have our yellow ochre, our cad yellow. I'm going to throw it touch of white in there. There we go. And I'm loading up both sides of my brush. There we go. Now I'm just gonna, I'm just putting it right on top of that dark color. Now if I tried putting that light color on top of a light color, guess what? You're not even gonna see it. It's gonna be nothing. Okay, now I know this isn't a real bright, bright painting. That's okay, I don't really need it to be. We'll, we'll be hitting some more. Okay, I'm gonna load it back up and we're gonna uh, come over this way. I'm picking up a lot of that undercolor. That's okay. It's there for a reason. And don't kill all the darks in there. I mean, you got shadows. See? Shadows. Okay. Well, what about some highlights? Well, let's see how we do here. We'll take a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow, uh, cad yellow. And some yellow ochre. And basically, I'm just adding a little more white to the, what I already had. And uh, let's see. The sun's coming down from this way, so maybe right here, this is a little bit lighter. some more here. Lighten it up a little bit more. There we go. We'll lighten this side just a little bit. There we are. There we are. Now we got a nice little field. my I have a half inch chip brush here and all I'm doing is I'm just tapping this thing until just the tips of my bristles and all I'm doing is just add a little bit of white just on oh, the tips of my bristles I'm just barely touching little bit of um, white wild flowers or or clover there we go and if you get too much on there or you don't want them at all once you put them on you decide that's okay just uh, clean off your brush and go back through and just tap them I think that's a little bit much right in there so we'll just get rid of some of it there we The thing is, don't panic. It's 
Hey, believe me, you're going to be fine. Your painting is going to be fine. Okay. Cool. Okay. I think it's about time we um, start thinking about our water here. So let's put in a little shoreline. I got some burnt umber here. And I just got me a little roll. dirt, little shoreline. Get a little more burnt umber here. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, there's that. Now, oh, I'm gonna need some more white. I need some more titanium white. So we'll just put some out there, right? Oh darn. You know when you get another color on the cap. Because invariably you get it on the paint too. Okay. All right, let's take some white and some burnt sienna and let's highlight some of these. Now remember, you're highlighting. You're not, you're not taking away all the dark. You still want the dark. Remember, we have shadows. And whatever we don't like, as Bob used to say, we'll just turn that right into a, a reflection. I'm just taking that burnt sienna with that white. It's got a little bit of burnt umber in it. And I'm just touching and kind of guiding where I want that paint to be. There we go. How's that? All right. Okay. Now I'm just I just grabbed a just whatever brush I happen to have on hand. This is just an old one inch chip brush. It's kind of ratty and gnarly, but that's okay. I'm just going to grab some of this. I'm going to pull it straight down. There we go. Pull it straight down. Straight down. Straight down. Don't take all of it. Just grab the edge. Grab the edge. Grab the edge. Pull it down. All the way down. There we go. So we grab the edge. We pulled it down. Now we're going to wipe off our brush. Wipe it off. We're going to get all that off of there. Then we're going to come in and we're going to use horizontal strokes. And we're just going to diffuse this. There we go. You can even pull some of that down a little bit further if you wanted. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Now I think maybe we ought to have us a couple more trees or at least one here because we need a reflection in here. It just isn't going to look right unless we do, right? Do right. <laughs> unless we do. 
right? Okay. So let's make another. Let's let's put in another pine tree. I just I just feel it. I feel that there's one right about here. It's going to come down to about right there. Now this one is close enough. We need to uh, maybe we ought to put a few highlights on some of these. Just very few on these back here. But let's go ahead and put this one in. Now remember, your trees do not have to be perfect. And right here, as it comes down, I'm going to go a little bit darker. And then, this is going to be, since, since the light's coming from this way, this is going to cast a shadow this way. So I'm just taking that darker color and I'm casting the shadow that way. Maybe it goes, maybe that shadow needs to be back here. There we go. I think that's good. Okay, cool. All right, let me, uh, I'm going to grab this lighter colored fan brush that we used for the clouds. And I'm just going to wipe it out and get as much paint out as I can. If you noticed, I haven't even cleaned a brush yet. I do not like cleaning brushes while I'm painting. I just, ew, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna dip just the corner of my brush in a little bit of oil. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna pick up some of these yellows. Now I have cad yellow and yellow ochre kind of mixed together right here, and that's okay. If I need more cad, it's right there. If I need more, or if I need more yellow ochre, it's right there. If I need more cad, I need to get some squeeze it out oh wait but before we do that wait we can't we this tree doesn't have a trunk i mean come on it's got to have a trunk let's take some white some of this burnt umber add a little more burnt umber okay now let's just i'm just going to touch and i'm just touching and letting go and letting the uh, canvas pull off what it wants. There we go. Maybe this one has a little bit, you can see a little bit of a trunk. Same with this one. This one. I'm just adding trunks in where I think they need them. Okay. Mm, so now we have some trunks. Now let's take our our highlights. And right here we're gonna we're just gonna highlight some of these branches. Uh, load back up maybe a little bit more oil now I'm adding oil to thin this down a little bit so it'll stick um, because this that I have on here they are uh, the paint is thicker there we go we'll just add a few little highlights here and there Just add a few little highlights back here in the background. Not adding a whole lot. Okay. That's pretty cool. That'll work. That'll work. Find a place to put that. There we go. All right. Now let's take a little break and uh, 
have a drink of our uh, coffee here. All right, coffee. Coffee if you have it. Iced tea for me. I was just thinking about coffee. I was just thinking, hmm, coffee doesn't sound too bad. Mm -hmm. But uh, iced tea for me. Take a sip of your coffee, your wine, your beer, your tequila, your whatever you got. Take a sip, Kool-Aid. Sit back and just kind of look at your painting. Step away from it. Step back about six feet and stare at it. Yeah, people might think you're weird, but you know what? You're an artist. They expect that. So, <laughs> all right. Okay, so we have that tree in, but we need a reflection, don't we? So, how are we going to do that? Well, let's take us our dark paint, our dark tree. This is that blue. Um, it's got some yellow ochre in it. It's got some uh, burnt umber in it. Heck, I probably got a little bit of this mountain mixture in there. That's okay. That's all right. So we're going to come right down here into the water and right in line going to come down and it's going to reflect right about to I would say right about there now if I just did like I did before and just did this number that's not going to work too well I need to lift up as I do it okay I need to lift up so that my branches are a mirror image of what I have up here. So these branches are going down. These branches need to go up. Okay. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and I'm going to corner my brush, just lift up. Now, does it have to be perfect? No, it does not. It is a reflection. In fact, that reflection, I think, needs to be bigger. Now that I'm seeing it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down a little bit. I'll start there. And just go right back through it. There we go. And I think that's about good. Awesome. Now I'm going to take my lighter color. Well, wait, before we do that, we, we will put in just a little bit of a trunk. Doesn't have to be perfect, just a little bit of brown there. Boom, there we go. All right, now take our highlight color. There we go. All right, maybe a little bit more of the highlight. Okay, now here's where it gets tricky, everybody. So tricky. I'm gonna grab a brush, and I just happen to grab a two inch brush. I am going to make sure that I have wiped all the excess paint off. Bob always used to hit his easel with it just to knock off the excess paint. Now, I am going to very lightly just go down. Very lightly, go down, I'm going to go across, horizontal strokes. And when I say two hairs and some air, man, oh man, do I mean it. Okay. <laughs> All right. There we are. There's a little bit. Um, now, I'm going to grab some white. A little bit of white. Oh, that's got a little bit of brown in it. That's okay. We're going to add a little bit of blue in it. A little more white. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to cut off a little roll. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start cutting in a shoreline. Now, here's the thing with a shoreline. You need to... Be sure that 
you keep this knife as horizontal as you can. You want it level because still water is going to seek out its own level and it's going to be level. So, try to keep that as level as you can. All we're doing is just cutting in a water line. our water line. Awesome. Okay. Now, I need to make up some more of a dark color. I don't particularly want the purple color. Okay, so um, first things first, I just had my knife. There it is. <laughs> okay, let's get some blue. We're going to go ahead and get some of this yellow. make us a nice little green. I, I have a little bit of purple in there. It's not going to hurt anything. Purple and yellow is going to make a uh, brown um, because they're complementary, but that's okay. Okay, let's get some black. Now this black that I made, what I'll do is I'll, I'm going to take the excess from that and uh, I'm going to put it into a container and I can keep it in the freezer. Yes, I can. And let's add some burnt umber to that. Okay. Wipe off my knife here. Now, let's, uh, I'm going to take my one inch brush and I'll load this up. And then I'm going to start dragging it in one direction. Just drag it. There we go. And when I get done, one end, this end is going to be rounded. This end's not. This, or this corner, I should say, is going to be rounded. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that up. I'm going to turn that up, I'm going to come right over here, and I'm going to press it into the canvas, and I'm going to lift up, but I'm not going to let my bristles slide. Yes, I am covering up part of that reflection. That is okay. Now, I am just going through, and I am making little bushy patterns. See that? See how these things are all splaying out here? Yeah. Now I'll reload the same way. I'm going to load up my brush, start dragging it in one direction, and we'll come here. And I'm going to fill in this down here. And I'm going kind of, I was going kind of slow, just so you could see how this is done. And speed it up a little bit here. And the thing is, is you can't get this wrong. You know? <laughs> it's just putting the dark on the canvas. There we go. There we go. Yeah. We're digging that now. Okay, got us a little bit of a foreground. All right. Now, I'm gonna take my other, uh, my highlighter, or my lighter color brush. I use this like on the grass and stuff. We're gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab some of this yellow ochre. And you know what? I am gonna put a little bit more cad yellow out here. Let me add a little bit of cad yellow. There we go. A little cad yellow. So let's grab some of that and our yellow ochre. And I'm doing the same thing that I did for my darker color. I'm 
loading up my brush, then I'm going to drag it all in one direction. Again, heel, toe, and I'm going to come up here, do the same thing. Now, if you have trouble with this stick and add the slightest little bit of thinner or oil, either one will work. I use oil. There we go. Now, I'm going to come back through here in a little bit. We're going to add some more colors onto this. But the big thing to remember is you're not trying to cover up all of your darks. You're not. Remember, we have shadows. That's the biggest thing I see. And the biggest problem that I had was I wanted to cover up all those shadows. But we don't want to do that. Now, I'm thinning this down, like I said, with oil right now. You can thin this down with your white medium. Um, now, when you do, it is going to lighten the value. And you may want that. You may not. It's entirely up to you. The thing is, is whatever you decide, that's the right decision. Because this is your painting, your world, and no one should be able to tell you how to paint your world. It's your world. You paint it the way you want. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to say, oh, well, you should do this and you should do that. And that's all. And I'm sure most of the time it's very well intentioned. I really do believe that. But in the end, you have to be happy with what you put on this canvas. So be sure that you are happy with what you put on the canvas. If you are, you'll never be wrong. If you're not happy with it, change it. You can do that. It is okay to do that. Okay. Now, let's see. I am going to pause for a moment because I want to um, pour some of this uh, white medium out onto something and I have nothing to pour it out on. So I shall be right back through the magic of video. Okay, did you miss me? I bet you didn't even know I was gone. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, let's see. I am going to go right here into this CAD yellow. I'll load up my brush real good. Now I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna dip it into my white medium and just come back up here to loosen it up. And then I'm gonna go right back to um, dragging my brush through in one direction. There we go. Now I'm gonna make some brighter spots on here. And as you go along, you'll start picking up some of those other colors. Just wipe your brush out. Pick up your color. Add your white medium. Come back, pick up your color again. One direction. Okay, now I'm going to wipe out that brush. Let's give it a little bit of a splash of color. What do you think? 
Why not? Let's go and do this uh, alizarin crimson. We're going to put some pink highlights out here. And we'll go down here into our white medium. A little more white medium. There we go. One direction, and we'll come up here, and we're going to... Add a little splash of color. A little splash of color. Yeah, I like that. There we go. Okay, a little more. There's that. Okay, now let's get our liner brush again. I am finally going to wash. Am I? No, I don't think I am. Uh, some uh, oil. Well, let's make some branches and twigs and so on and so forth. Some grasses. So I'm just going to come up here. And all I'm doing is I'm just touching and lifting. And I'll uh, I'll throw some strokes out this way, st some strokes out that way, and all I'm doing is creating grasses. Okay. There we are. A few little grasses. And if you go through, you know, you'll grab that color that's underneath, you, you, you know, and that's okay. You know, I have some grasses in here that are crimson. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, a little more oil. Go back in here. I'm just going to roll that until it's nice and, you know, got a nice little point there. And we'll come back in here. And as I said, it... I mean, there's no rhyme or reason to these grasses, because grass is very much like clouds. It's going to grow the way it wants to grow, pretty much. They're not quite as free as clouds, but they're pretty free, these grasses. I think we need a bravery test. I truly do. A bravery test. Bob always had bravery trip tests. And I used to sit and watch him and go, No! <laughs> and then when he was done, it was great. I think we have a tree that lives right about here. If we didn't before, we sure do now, don't we? And it's going to be a pine tree. There we go. Now on these bigger ones, as I come down, I am actually using not just the corner of the brush. I will actually open up and use basically the whole brush there. There we are. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> okay, now this little tree, he's going to need us to him a, a trunk. you got to have a trunk, otherwise how is he going to stand up, right? Okay. Let's see. Let's put in a trunk.
Let's take a little bit of white and some sienna. And let's just hit the side of that trunk. a little bit of a trunk. Now we can add our highlights. Okay. Let's see. Where is my fan brush? I'm going to add just a touch of blue to that. There we are. Now let's highlight this baby. Grab some more highlight color. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit of white medium. Should have done that to begin with, but that's all right. We'll go back through. Okay, kind of blending out that bottom. And I think maybe we ought to grab our fan brush with our lighter colors on it, and we'll just come in here. Add a little bit of grass. Give them a little something to stand on there, right? There we are. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna go right here into this pink. I'll add a little more crimson there to it. Thin her down a little bit. We'll sign this baby. There we go. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. There it is. I'll be right back. Okay, folks. Hope you enjoyed painting along with me today. I think we're going to call this one Make Today Great in honor of my friend Glenn Howard. Glenn has a YouTube channel called Glenny Rides. G-L-E-N-N-Y Rides. <sighs> The dude is such a kind soul. Uh, all I can say is go check out his channel. You won't be disappointed. But anyways, thanks for painting along with me. I had a great time. I hope you did too. And until the next time, remember, keep looking up because that is where our strength comes from. And from all of us here to all of you there, we love you and we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.